Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Trouble 5 and I'm going to turn the volume down the wall. Alright, I am doing this on my laptop. So, yeah, the graphics are definitely different. And worse. My laptop is actually better than my desktop, it's just. Yeah. I don't know, I haven't really played with the graphics setting much. Settings much on ESPX. EPSX. Uh, anyway, here we are in Nasty's world. The last world. Yep. That's right, and I actually caught up on everything. See, look, 100% on everything. Woo! Alright, so, yep. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro, and you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Lampshade hanging. Sorry, TV tropes. Anyway, guess what I actually did? I actually did a playthrough of this one. And the next one. Not the next ones, though. Uh, I decided, being that I am on summer vacation right now, I uh, might as well get all three of these done one night. I won't upload them all at the same time, but I'm all going to do, do these all time. Um, so yeah. You know, I, I, yeah, something to do. Well, I really don't have a lot going on today or tomorrow, so I figured, what the hell? Ah! Wrong button. I'm still not used to this button configuration either. I should probably change it. Anyway, just, yeah, you can knock these back at those guys. Fairly easy. Um, oh yeah. Because my laptop is actually powerful enough to run that, um, uh, there's another game I wanted to play. The World Run 2 well. Wasn't really that video quality though on my other computer. My laptop can do it though. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing that instead of Musashi, unless I get a lot of the wrong button, I really should reconfigure that. Um, unless like a lot of people saying that they would rather see Musashi. I can say the other one is up, I'm gonna leave it as a surprise. I'm not even gonna put it in the title of the first one. That way it's always a surprise. In fact, I'm gonna try to alter the uh, thingy with Jigger. Look. Thingy. You, you know, the thumbnail, that's it. Uh, to, uh, yeah, make it so that, no, I'm so ADHD right now, so that, uh, you don't see what it is. It'll be fun. The problem with it being hits, but, you know, maybe it will. Anyway, uh, this level's fairly straightforward. Those guys you pretty much just play Donkey Kong with, unless you can get a sneak attack like I did. Yeah, and then you can just blow those guys up and then you just fight back. This is where you start getting into Donkey Kong. Yeah, they'll squish you, they beat you with the barrels. There's really not a lot in this level that can hurt you though, I mean compared to the next one. I forgot what was in the next one, because I only did a run through the first two. But anyway, here is... Latif. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my north boots if I were him. I feel like a movie hacker with this. I got my laptop, flash drive plugged in, and punched over the keyboard. No, I'm in a dark room. Yeah, I play video games in the dark, so soon. I like the atmosphere about it. Yeah, that was fairly obvious. I mean... This level doesn't really have a lot of secrets either. This is... Yeah. Really easy compared to the next two. Part of the reason that I want to get all this done tonight is because I really like that other one I'm playing. And, uh, yeah, I want to be able to, uh, play it ASAP. And no, I can't play it without doing a long pool because, well, yeah, I feel like 
starting over here, I wouldn't feel like starting over again. Well, it's almost going to do a blood and I'm like, oh, man, then I actually have to start over and do everything. So, yeah. Uh, because this thing runs with Oblivion better than my, uh, gosh, God, this is a really nice little one. If you can even call it that, it's about the size of a network. I still want to know. Ah! Okay. Why'd they hold on to an exploding barrel of TNT? I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay. Oh yeah, you get fodder, rats, yep. Okay. Oh, uh, that one you gotta wait for. You can't blow it up with those. Some of you might have already seen how we do this. Here we set off the chain reaction. Boom, boom. And then you can just blow it. I don't know if those guys can use it without their own, but I'm not gonna actually try to blow it up. I'm gonna do that. Well, I gotta find a guy without a bear. Okay, up there. Oh, uh, nice one. Two, three. Mm, boom. That's how you do it. Okay, um. Uh, yeah, 191 out of 400, that will be... There are 200. Uh, grab, grab. Two. Five. I said five. There we go. Here we are. Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro! You gotta believe! <laughs> Damn straight. 77! Two numbers back to back. 57! Oh, Alright, I think I can. Yeah, I did. Ah, oh, chain reactions. Alright, now I gotta go find some rats or something. Stupid wrong. the Button configuration is screwing me up now. That is nothing like how I hit it. <laughs> Actually, it's just the cannon buttons that are screwed up. But yeah, that one's the same. That one's different. I had it. Don't kill. Okay, that guy. Boom, boom. Two sixty-six. Two seventy-one. Level. 
Oh no, I probably missed them somewhere back here. I am sure that's not a secret area, so... Alright, let's go... What's happening to me during the one thing too? Only was like with one jump or something stupid like that. Uh, no, not this way. This one. Hmm. All right. Well, that's the beginning of the level. I'm getting used to too because it's smaller than the regular one. I'm used to it and stuff like Oblivion and Team Fortress, but yeah, this definitely not you know, platformers that I'm running APS actually for. Like Sparrow. Two or three. Because I also have those on here. I just will say ahead of time that no, it's not Spyro 2 or 3 that I'm playing. And if you're like, yeah, but you're gonna upload the video before we have a chance to put third to say what we want to about it, then it's, yeah. Uh, I have to say to that, um, well, I, I won't upload the video, but I'll shoot it, but I won't upload it until after. All these are uploaded. And this one will live and uploaded for a few days. Uh, crap. I missed those. Did I leave some more here? Oh! Don't want to hit the paint. Damn. Aw, uh, damn it, Spyro. No, oh, that's not where I want to go. Okay, I'll look for those later. Oh! That was stupid. Alright, well, I got it. <laughs> now, for these levels, you actually have to go through the uh, exit level thing. You can't go through the start menu. So... Yeah, that sucks. Like, I actually have to go this way. Because otherwise the next one won't open up from that up the hard way. Alright, so now we start on Twilight Party. Definitely one of the harder levels in this game. Between the guns, the swords, the grenades, yeah. Yeah, that's right, they get smart. The rats are pretty much your father throughout this world, as I found out. Those aren't shotguns, by the way. I don't know why they need to off cotton. Yeah, there's the grenades. Damn. 
and you do need to flame those guys. This one it gets a little bit trickier on which ones are big and which ones are small. Those guys are small, and they're the only small ones in this level. I just walked into my garage. Again. Are big objects, so like I said, well, these guys are the only small ones. And those guys are the really annoying ones because you gotta get close to them. Well, you gotta get close to every enemy, but I mean, it'd be a lot easier if you just charge through and be faster because you actually have to walk. We got that shot that you can't open for a little bit. And let's try to get that. Cosmos. Thank you for releasing me. One of the boring ones. Alright. Charge that guy. Watch out for grenades. Kill him. And then get rid of that guy. And then let's see him go back and go. Huh. Thought I saw a guy over there. Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Wait, didn't I get clear this already? Weird. I don't know, maybe I'll have a drink or I'll just try to play. Anyway, just jump up here. I don't know what it's like in that here either. Yeah, right there, see? Can't see it from that, but or if you're going that way. One button again. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't see it that way. Right there. This level doesn't really, like, you go through it and think, oh yeah, there wasn't a lot of secret stuff, but there really is. Hmm. Actually, no, I did get lag on this one, so I missed that, that better. Shall I work? 
that I just charged this thing. That's a chunk. Just for fun. And my battery is good. Yeah, obviously you can see it because the thing is super zoomed in because I'm not high or whatever. Because I'm in a different size. So yeah. Find some rats. Actually, wait, only, I think there might be only three levels on this one, and then the last two are nasty in the secret world. Oh! Alright, oh, I'm on my way back here. Whatever I was doing to wind up back there. <sighs> I don't know. Nasty is actually really easy. I guess the sort of spawn there. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy just to go away by these guys, but you got to kill them that. Things get a little bit trickier. You actually have to kill everyone to get 100%. As a kid, I thought Crash Bandicoot you did too, because coincidentally, the first time I got every box in a level was also the same time that I killed every enemy in the level. So I, when I got the jump of getting every box, I was like, you get a chance for killing every enemy. Then my parents who actually played the game quite heavily were like, I don't know, I thought I'd killed everybody before, and then, yeah, checked it out, and they're like, wait a second. And then they got every box and they got it and they're like, oh, that's how you get it. 